What's up, Primp Am? Welcome back to the Print Shop. Shout out to Fire Sprint for sponsoring this video. More at the end. But today, we're going to print some pens. So, I just barely recorded a video about um, opportunity cost and me losing out on business because the next 26 days or whatever I need to spend printing boxes all day every day well they canceled the order and I am thrilled I am beyond thrilled beyond so I took my fancy little template off and my mom was here she asked me to make some notepads because she wanted to give them to her friends for Christmas she wanted a disposable gift, and she thought that would be great because they write on them, they use them, they throw them away. And she's like, no, I'm just going to get a pen, put a bow around it. And I was like, hey, I have pens. Let's print their names on them. Because we made notepads with everyone's names on them, and that's fun. So I'm going to show you what I did, how it works, and get some feedback because maybe there's a better way to do it. And I don't know, or maybe it's an idea for you. The reason... I bought blank pens in the first place was because I want more things that I can have at the shop that I can sell with a quick turnaround. So I bought pop sockets, I bought journals, I bought pens. I'm trying to buy things, I'm buying tumblers, which hopefully I can get the laser set up at some point. But I'm trying to buy things that I can have in stock so that when people are like, hey, I have an event this weekend, I can be like, hey, these are some options. They can be done quick, but I can make good money on them. So. That's why I got the pens. So let me show you what we did. So first thing I did was I put a piece of tape down. And then in Illustrator, I drew this template. So I basically took a pen, took my calipers, and I said, okay, how long is this? And then how long is this? So that I could then say, okay, where can I print it? So initially we printed in the center of the pen. Well, the problem is the pen is not flat, it curves. I have to set the print head height to this. And because this is so much lower, by the time it printed, it looked kind of like it does here, fuzzy. So what we ended up doing was printing right here at the top. So I'm gonna put a pen on, I'm gonna print one so that you can see what it looks like. So we got the pens all lined up. Now, I gotta step out of the way of the beam here. So we can print away. I thought it would move more. So, the placement might not be some people's favorite, but if someone wants a pen super quick, then it gives you an option. So I got a bunch of different sizes. I printed a logo on this one to see how it looked and a logo on that one. So it turned out pretty cool. So I'm always trying to think of fun things, new ways to make money. I'm so glad my, can my customer canceled the box order so I could spend time doing something else. So, but a huge shout out to firesprint.com for sponsoring today's episode. They are a trade only wholesale printer. So you can buy things, yard signs, banners, stickers, lots of core plasts, like paddles, quiet sign, I can't remember what they call everything, but you can buy blanks from them too. So if you run your own printer, you can buy blank 12, 24 by 18s from them great company to work with. I've been using them for years, even before they reached out to sponsor the channel. I've purchased quite a few yard sign orders from them because my printer is not meant to do bulk big orders. That takes up too much time. So I'll do the small orders, outsource everything else. Thank you for sponsoring the video. If you want 10% off your first order, use the coupon code down in the description. Thank you again for sponsoring the video, Fire Sprint. So thanks again for watching, following along. 
you have an idea for something fun to print or do, leave that down in the comments. Thank you, as always, for being here. Thanks for following along for Vlogmas. Hope you like it. If you have any ideas for videos, let me know. We'll see you in the next one. Per fam.